Morning. I swear a lot. We'll go for it, Adam. Worst no. case, there's nothing you can use, but at least we plugged it in. I mean, we're fun. we were going to f***ing play this anyway, so I, it's here we just have like a <clears throat> 70% chance, I'll mm -hmm. be fair, of no, getting something right. usable. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you know for the best bits that happen, it won't pick me up. <laughs> yeah. the best bits where we're like oh that was gold that was oh James you'll be like it. you're gonna be like bruv I've come to a f***ing realisation I have discovered the meaning of life yeah and it's this and I have to whisper it because <laughs> <laughs> it's so important and I don't want anyone else to yeah. hear it or someone's like tree 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 tree, 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 tree. Say it. plane plane tree tree pigeon 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 yeah. it's like when you're playing with a fucking keyboard in school mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> what was that you always used to say DJ DJ DJ, DJ. tree 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 oh, like yeah there was all sorts of fucking pigeon things. pigeon pigeon turn the beat back pigeon pigeon <laughs> rewind rewind <laughs> So, get this easy shit out of here. <laughs> campaign yeah. difficulty. That's my, uh, my issue there, mate. I have to play on easy. I mean, most people laugh at me for normal battle difficulty. Well, they would, actually. Yeah, but it makes it even, doesn't it? I don't like fighting a fight where my enemy gets cheats. Absolutely right, It mate. fucking annoys me. I can me. see exactly where you're coming from there. Fair enough, but the campaign difficulty hard, but have the battles fair, at least. Because I'm like, if I loot, the worst part of that is if I lose, I don't take responsibility for it. Yeah. In my head, I'm like, it, it was unfair, they got buffed. Yeah, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 100%. Where the fucking Lustria are even going to go? Yeah, of course, it's me right down the bottom, isn't it? I mean, Lustria is really big now. It is. It's huge. massive. We could go up, I don't know, we could go up against fucking the Zinch guys, or yeah. there's like... Isn't one, one of the there? high offs down there as well? Which one's that? Ah, uh, Techless. Techless, indeed. Techless is down yeah. there too. Yeah. You've got I the am... Vampire Coast up the side. I imagine we're going to enter into conflict with the lizard men. Yeah, 100%. Because this is their fucking land. This is their bit, yeah. There's some dwarves down here as well, isn't there? Pretty? Yeah, Spinosotech dwarves. Yeah. Yeah, and then Ironbrow's expedition is across the desert. Mm -hmm. That's quite far away. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a great angle to try and get the mouse. <laughs> Sacrifices that I mean. Hello! Whoa. An ancient power stirs in the land of dragons. A force of jade and steel. Deep in the heart of the central provinces. Wei Jin, the jewel in the crown of the Celestial Empire, home to the great Wu Shi compass. Watched over by its vigilant guardian, the Jade Dragon, master of the meteor winds. The architect of Grand Cathay's destiny, Yet as light turns to darkness, he schemes. Commanding a vast network of unrelenting spies. No lies go undetected. No whispers go unheard. The dragon's eyes are everywhere. So that's actually interesting because um, one of the other factions is Zinch. Yeah, obviously. absolutely. That's been introduced. And Zinch is a big secrets and lies. Boy. There must be some, like, correlation I there. Must range out beyond our borders. Well, this is a six time point. It's interesting. It makes me think that, like, there must be some direct conflict. Like, maybe more in lore than in gameplay. Mm -hmm. But there must be some direct conflict there where it's, like, his fucking. Uh, system of spies up against everything that Zinch is yeah. because this is just what Zinch loves yeah yeah it's yeah like, oh trickery scheming and lies like this is what we're good at and he has to kind of counter it yeah amazing which is fucking hard that's a challenge it is the Jade Dragon's duty to increase the Celestial Emperor's influence in the world by fully harnessing the power of the Wu Jing Compass which I don't use very much <laughs> um you, you, want you might have to mate. maybe I have to <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> your armbar must activate four dormant directions unique to the Jade Core that point towards distant sites of great power. Constructing an astromantic relay at each site will empower the compass to greatly strengthen Cathay's dominion and bring your armbar closer to campaign victory. As astromantic relays are constructed, the Jade Dragon must stay prepared for hostilities from those who seek to stop the redirection of the winds of magic. Successfully activating the four dormant directions will lead to the final incursion. I swear to God, I thought that was Astromaniac before you actually said that out loud. Astromaniac. I must be slightly dyslexic. But yeah, well done on Astromantic, mate. Did you hear about... I, I talk about it a lot because I find it very funny. <laughs> did you hear about the Dark Souls recording that me and Sweetman did? No, 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 tell me. Where, like, he went to read something oh. <laughs> and he did it wrong. That sounds about wrong. And I was like... And I just went this. And he was like, ah, oh, well, I'm dyslexic. And I was like, you're not dyslexic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's an easy <laughs> excuse, isn't it? I've and, just used it straight away. And then, like, multiple times throughout the recording, he was like, oh, yeah, I can read that. I'm dyslexic. And I'm like, Sweetman, you're not dyslexic. And he's, he's like, like, I cannot I read it on account of my dyslexia. I am and I'm like, dyslexic. you're not dyslexic. Shut up. And then after the recording, he was like, Foreman, I'm actually dyslexic. Yeah, it's a thing, mate. You're I was like, like oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought, you, I thought you were just doing a weird bit. It does sound like a funny excuse. I mean, mine was, because I'm not dyslexic, but yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like... That's funny. He told me that, I think, actually. <laughs> I, I just... I get immeasurable amounts of joy out of it, because I find it so funny, because yeah, it's no, such a stupid thing to, to doubt. Yeah. Why would I doubt that he's yeah. dyslexic? Yeah, you just assumed he was doing a bit. That's funny. Because he does do weird bits. He does sometimes. do weird bits. He really does. Yeah. Like one time, he's hilarious. But he's, sometimes you think you're just sat there and you're like, oh, "What?" I mean, like, like I'm as guilty amazing. of it as he is, amazing. sure. But like, I remember one time, like, I was, I was seeing a girl, and like he met her for the first time, and like as a first introduction, he did this like almost kind of stand-up bit while talking to her, and I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you know, yeah. being me. Amazing. And I'm like, cool, cool, cool. I dig <laughs> it. <laughs> he told me a story the other day. This is, I don't know if it can be on your thing, but I want to say anyway. We went through a uh, drive through and the guy, he, he was at KFC, and he said, can I get an Oreo crush? And they said, we don't do Oreo crush. And he said, oh, all right, okay. Well, can you slit my throat then? <laughs> right. And apparently, <laughs> the guy at the checkout said, you have to go to the next window for that. <laughs> What a guy! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Let's have a look at Wambo's skill tree. That's good. Well, he looks quite, like... It's uh, more colourful than I was he expecting. He looks quite short as well. <laughs> He's a little bit short, <laughs> isn't he? He's a bit dumpy, doesn't he? He's a little short king. Uh, I dig it. Um, so, my, less upkeep for Onyx Chrome men don't know them. Jade oh. Lions don't know them. And Jet Lions don't know them. Onyx Chrome and sound awesome. We do have one of those, so I'm going to have a look at it Excellent. in a sec. Yeah. It's Jade Administrator, yeah, magic reserve capacity, which is very helpful. Cool. I want to see the skill... Wait, does he ha Oh my god, he has equipment. Wicked. Do you know what I also wonder right now, as we're speaking? If you killed this guy, what perk you'd get? What's his defeat trait? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that intrigues me, that thought. This is significant because Xiao Ming and the other one... The other one, yeah. <laughs> I struggle to remember their names. Uh, don't have equipment. Interesting. Only Schwamp. So well, why he, haven't they done that yet? He is an administrator, mate. Yeah, but he's sourced his equipment. The however, storm he needs. The dragon and the iron dragon. They're very important. They should have their legendary. Uh, to be fair, neither of them use a weapon, and ooh, they're both they unarmed. Do they? I do like this sword as well. It's interesting. Nice sword. Uh, so let me have a quick look. Yeah, yeah. relations with Grand Cathay armor. Cool. Good. What's this? <laughs> Damage resistance, allies, I love that. I love that as a thing, right? I'm wearing this armor, so you like me more. I do, do you like <laughs> my shirt? Look, Ooh, it's yeah. La Lacoste or whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, plus one control to all provinces. Nice. I like that from a weapon. Because that's yes. like, there's, there's a badge mess. of office. Yeah. Don't mess. Don't mess, man. Don't mess. Yeah, 100%. And oh, melee attack plus 40. That's very good. Especially when he turns... If you can use that when he turns into a dragon, that's a lot of splash damage and stuff. Uh -huh. So he will trash hordes. You'd hope the dragon's fang could be used as he is a dragon. Also, what's a name for a weapon, by the way? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So extra recruit rank for dragon blood is Shugangun. That's very nice. Astromancer's lovely. Of <laughs> Cathay lords that aren't legendary suck. Right. They are all, like, awful. Right. Especially compared to other factions. But their legendary lords are incredible. Amazing. So oh, I see some faction wide, Adam. Yeah, I love it when less I construction cost. We love to see it. Yeah, mask of jade, diplomatic relations with humans and high elves, lovely. And he provides extra leadership to people when he's in human form. Okay, 
Minus save, set up keep. Jesus Christ. In campaign that's moving range and Jesus replenishment in no territory. Christ. If you're on the defense, that's really good. That's amazing, yeah. So that's your core overseer. That's fine. Uh, spell resistance is quite nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And closest to the heavens, spell intensity. Well, that sounds you're going to have to run that one past me again because I ain't seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Judge. I, like, I saw that, that um, branch that? and I like the look of it, Judge. Oh my god, we'll execute units in combat below a 20% hit points threshold. Wow. So I guess I he can just... I decide you dead. I decide you dead, <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah. I have determined that you aren't alive anymore. Yeah. I have judged it henceforth. Uh, henceforth, because I am in charge. And, you and can... jury as well. <laughs> and I the jury agrees. I hope executioner is at the end. That'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Judge, oh, it's jury, be. executioner. There it oh, is! There it is! <laughs> yes! Of course it is. We've hit ecstasy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Raises the hit points threshold of execution to 33%. Wow. So you can kill them even faster. And jury and executioner give be... you additional uses of it. That could be such a tight turner. That is a hit. That is a lot. And yeah, you get a total of like four uses I think if you go through all of them wow because you get one initially that is lord sniping and hero that, sniping that is and that is a, a, a branch you want to do and as for his spells we have light magic jade I don't know yin yeah power of yin so I think oh and some celestial these guys fucking spells are all over the fucking place yeah. let me tell you greater arcane conduit is always nice mm -hmm. talons of night is brilliant I think you can cast that while you're a dragon Amazing. No. No. <laughs> Just no. I know there's a spell that um, mm -hmm. uh, Meow Ying can do when she's in dragon form. And that's, that's cool. a devastating strategy. <laughs> the, um, you know, because you mean we've been all fucking looking at her netty shit. Oh, so it just comes up on Facebook all the yes, time. Yes, did you join that f that page? The fan club. Yeah, oh, my phone so shut. No, I was about to quote it. No, <laughs> <laughs> I found a really good quote. I see loads on there recently. They're like, oh my God, yeah, that one. Like, literally, <laughs> it's amazing. I was watching a video, um, you know that Bricky guy who does the Warhammer stuff? Yes. I showed you yes, ages yes, ago. Yes, yes, yeah. He's also a big Ed and Eddie fan. Amazing. Cool. And it's just a small moment in one of his videos was like, who would win? The Chaos Gods or Ed with a rock in his shoe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amazing. Oh. Big drama! Big drama! <laughs> <laughs> I do love Ed and Eddie. It's just the thing I saw was like the episode where Eddie's trying to be like, my family owns this fucking town and okay. sold it. And like they're filming the video for it and Ed gets in the way. And he's like, Hark, move ye stupid moose or I'll turn ye into moose chops. <laughs> and Ed's just like, oh. <laughs> so I saw on there the other day it was when Double D's wearing that butt and he's like, this butt's this been used! Butt's been used. <laughs> Hold your horses! Yeah. This butt's been used! Amazing. I have fleeced the innocent once again. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, Warhammer. <laughs> yeah, walk back to Warhammer. <laughs> so Onyx Crowmen. I'm assuming Shrine of Sotek is a uh, lizardman. Uh, it's currently owned by the Greenskins, actually. Oh, it's Greenskins, is it? Oh, yeah, right. Blue Vipers. Blue Vipers. I don't know that. I remember them being a fucking problem in this region, actually. <laughs> like, they're everywhere. Who are these? Slanesh. Okay, Slanesh yeah. is here. Just uh, zoom up on the map. Let me just see where we are. Oh, we're right on the edge, okay. Right okay. on the edge, yeah. Ulth one's here. Oh, yes, I got you, yeah. And cool. Mazda Mundi will be up around here. Yeah, along with, uh, what's the face? Marathi. Marathi. It uh, will be down here, I think, somewhere. Yeah, correct. Going off a lot of memory right now. I haven't played this game in actual, like, over a month. <laughs> <laughs> All right, drop the horrible. The horrible bastard. Let me fucking show you what's what. we got to do a fight. Yeah, I think we need to see. see. Yeah, you're absolutely right, mate. Yeah. We need to see. Entry level, finding out. Even though if I were resolved it, his entire army would have been destroyed and it would have been a lot easier. Yeah, but... probably. Fuck it. Well, this is a learning phase, mate. You need this, really, don't you? Let's see what you're working with. I need to see everything. You've got one ranged unit. Two? One. One? Why the fuck do I only have one? <laughs> so, I know we're, we're treating this like we're not recording, because we're just hanging out. But I do want to make a statement for the for the stage. Yep, let's do it. Um, I, I'm sat really awkwardly, because this <laughs> desk setup is not made for two people. Yep. Um, so, and that may affect my ability to... <laughs> React. Do shit. That is unfortunate. Oh, look at him, though. He like looks that. like exactly the kind of character I'd want to... I'll tell you what he looks like, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this, you'll get this straight away. 
Dynasty Warriors. He I looks like a combination of Sao Sao and Lu Bao. And Lu Bei. I knew you were going to say Dynasty Warriors before you did. That is amazing, really. Isn't Sorry, it? not Lu Bei even. Yuan Shao. Right? Yeah. Yes. That is that is both of them in one. So you know what? I downloaded, I downloaded a Dynasty Warriors related game on my phone the other day. You know how crap phone games are. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet, but I downloaded it just because it was Dynasty Warriors. You know. Well, it's funny, actually. <laughs> just love Dynasty because War. Total War, of all things, uh -huh. this series, have done a game on that period of time. It would work, wouldn't it? The Three Kingdoms. And that was when they first introduced the concept of, like, single model lords I'm just thinking go in and fight Dynasty Warriors in this format would work a treat it makes sense doesn't it doesn't it just mate we'll Who have to do that at some time yes. in the future yes mate that would work a fucking treat so I need to so yeah his, me his melee worry. stats actually aren't that great because if you think how many kills your main guy gets similarly yeah to how you play Dynasty Warriors. That could so work, couldn't it? It's just the perfect format. I think they tried to take a more realistic approach of it. It's not... Makes sense. It's not Rather like, than getting 600 kills every yeah. single time you play. It's not Total War Dynasty Warriors. Uh -huh. It's Total War The Three Kingdoms. Yeah, yeah, As yeah. in, like, it is literally based on the period of time rather than the games based yeah. on the period of time. Sure. So there is going to be some difference Just there. a throwback, though, to my riser. Nah, oh, what a boy. Uh, I played him so long I actually got his stats all the way up using uh was it Sal Sal P yeah with his with his with the twin blade twin blades yeah he was amazing and I played it for so long I actually got all of his bars up to full and anyone who's played that game knows how long that takes yeah not like, long yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did it guys. I did it <laughs> my place is at the heart of Cathay Ensuring the Celestial Empire stands. Oh god, I haven't played this so let us finish them in months. Quickly, so I may return to my calling. Very good, very good, very good. That's a lot of vocal words. Yeah, and it's what actually pisses me off, right? Because my boy, Baltazar Gelt, the most charismatic the guy, man in the, the old guy. and new world and all, the warp All place, encompassed. Right? And every lord since Total War Hammer 2 gets dialogue when you're on the world map, where right. like you move into yeah. the mountains and Grom's like, Get out of my way, mountains! Yeah. <laughs> Which is my favourite line, by the yeah. way. <laughs> no, you don't move. I don't move. You, you move, move mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But my point is that Gelt doesn't get those because he's a Warhammer 1 lord. Nah, that sucks. So he's limited in his dialogue, bearing in mind the dialogue is literally yeah, the boy. best thing about Gelt. Yeah. Almost bar none. Yeah. And that sucks. It hurts, you know, because yeah, yeah. I just want to hear him talk all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's worth listening to, isn't he? He is worth listening to. Yeah, he really is. Bearing in mind we have big elaborate cutscenes for lizard men who don't speak a comprehensible language. <laughs> yes. But not Gel. Yeah, 10 minute long fucking intros for the lizard men. 50 minutes of fucking Nakai being like, Chonga Bujdogla, <laughs> like the fucking aliens in KOTOR 2. Yeah, literally, like, that just literally sounds like Star Wars. <laughs> it, was, it was really funny the other night we were playing uh, Dokapod on the server and someone played a voice clip and I was like that's from KOTOR 2 yeah you can just and tell he was like, like I love that you know that and I was like <laughs> Muta Chaka Paka the <laughs> amount of time you and I have invested in that game uh, is almost painful but amazing painful but <laughs> fuck I love KOTOR 2 yeah me too I learned and it's because I've done it, I never have to do it again in my mind, but I learned, and you know this, every single influence gain point for Everything. every single character to get them all to max influence to do what you can do with that, spoilers. Every single thing. But yeah, I learned everything about those. I'm such a fan of that game to the point where I spent, I think it's like £12 on the mobile version. Which, yeah, I was surprised to hear from you was actually pretty good. Mate, it's great. I it's, was surprised. It's, not, it's no dissimilar to the original version, mate. You I was just, expecting it to suck. No, no. And I played both the original as well. I played the original one, Kota. Yep. And Kota 2, all on my mobile. <laughs> Amazing. I know, right? Yeah. Hours I spent doing that. My girlfriend was not impressed. <laughs> Should be. 
Yeah, she should be. Absolutely. Because I've got fucking lightsabers to the earliest possible point. Oh, that was the two, mate, because yeah. I know how to do it. That was the first thing I learned. It yeah. was like, okay, how quickly What's the can earliest I get a lightsaber? You can get a lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, mate. Yeah. It's not a fucking <laughs> Jedi game until I have my lightsaber. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ignoring the line in, I think, Rebels, which is like, having a laser sword doesn't make you a Jedi. And I'm like, oh, no, it does. It Shut does. up. Yeah, there's nothing else that defines it as well as that. Yeah. What else would? <laughs> what else? So I'm kind of just fucking around here and I'm not really <laughs> fighting properly, but it seems to be working. Well, you seem to be winning, mate, according to the blue bar at the top. I think I started with advantage and that's why that, <laughs> yeah. that's why that is the way it is. It's basically sustained, yeah, okay. It's like, all you can do now really is lose it. <laughs> we'll move these around a little bit. Um, stop firing at them because they're about to go in and they should shred them. I want you to distract them for a bit, that should work out. You push up a little bit, you just hang out over there. Everything's good. Bureaucrat, so, Bureaucrat and, and warrior. warrior. Yeah, amazing. There was a- Oh, let's transform him into a dragon, I let's forgot! This it. whole thing! Let's do it! Go on, buddy! I mean- Yeah! What? I mean, that's awesome. Rock the dragon! <laughs> dragon Ballsy! Dragon, dragon, ballsy! <laughs> We were at practice the other night, and Sweetman was like, we're going to cover that. Yeah. And well, I'm like, but Sweetman, we're a goth band, and he's like, not for no, that no, one, we yeah. aren't. <laughs> we had this whole conversation in the car, mate, because <laughs> he's obviously found all the episodes, right? And every single episode starts with the intro. Oh, beautiful, yeah. So every time there's an episode, we hear the intro, Adam. It's got <laughs> stuck in his brain, and I'm not surprised that that's where he comes with it. I'm guessing it's hype every single time. Every time. Both, every single time it comes on, we both sing it. <laughs> it's like, dragon, dragon. dragon. That's so wholesome. Oh, no, it is, mate. It's such a, a throwback to our childhood. Look at that. Shemron. Yeah! Come on, Shemron. Makes the Namek dragon look like a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, Purunga. <laughs> <laughs> you already speak ne the Mechian. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you learn? Oh, do they actually speak English in Dragon Ball Z? Because it's like uh, Chinese based. Who actually knows? Yeah. <laughs> who actually knows? And made by Japan. All I know is that the English uh, n narrative is better. I mean, I, you know, that's a big debate on the internet. I will. I, I, will take, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I will take the abuse. The English version is better. Well, I would like to draw attention to something that you said there is that you'll take the abuse. Which one of us is the online personality who has to read the comments? <laughs> you will take the abuse. I will take I the abuse. I prefer English. <laughs> yeah, man. Fight Sorry, me, you bro. won't. Whatever you have to deal with, you have to deal with, mate. <laughs> You signed up for this, yeah. your job. Yeah. How about you get on with it? Yeah. Stop fucking bitching. You knew the situation when you took me on this. <laughs> I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> all right, Spearman, over there. Oh, no, is actually, there really that much of a debate about it, is there? Mate, yes. Really? And that's not just Dragon Ball Z, either. That's really? every single anime ever. I just, I just think, okay, all right. There is a huge debate over whether dub or sub you know, sub. English sub or English subtitles is better. And to be fair, there well, is I'm a place just, for I'm it in certain places. Way. For me, Dragon Ball Z is dub. 100%. Always dub, yeah. But in some cases, you know, like yeah, I watched understood. One Punch Man, and actually, One Punch Man's a hard one because Saitama's English voice is really funny. Oh. It's the thing, isn't it? It's sometimes a difficult the English one. adds a nice bit of humour there, mate. Sometimes the difference in languages actually changes how the scene feels, and that can be good totally. for both styles. Either way, I'm sure it does. Because you've yeah. heard some great Japanese voices. Of course I have. And do you know what? Sometimes. It's better, I agree with you. But yeah. for the majority, I just love the English dub. I originally... If you, if you ever hear Vegeta... If Vegeta, in, if yeah. Vegeta in English dub versus... I will, I will give him credit and say Vegeta's sub voice is really good. I think he works both ways, doesn't he? But, okay. Goku okay, does not. I was Let's get to the real one. I was one. about to say that. The real issue here is Goku in uh, sub. Yeah. It just, like, you know, I understand it because it's like Naruto had a very similar voice in, in the sub because mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. kind of your shonen protagonist voice, as it were, which is usually, in fact, a lady doing like Sounds a, a right, young yeah. person's voice. Yeah. Um, but for Goku, nah, man. It's, <laughs> it's dub all the way. Like her, her voice was would like you know I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna take away from what the voice actress did. Of course not. Because there's a reason why Dragon Ball Z is so successful, and of obviously it's not. because 
she did Dragon a good Ball fucking Z as job. as a whole is an art. It's a personal preference, yeah, but I but prefer the, the dub version. I'm, I mean, when you listen to Goku in the uh, dub going Super Saiyan 3, the levels that his voice actor reaches to transform into Super Saiyan 3, right, that's just for me, it's perfect. Yeah, it's, in, uh, it's actually fantastic. Yeah, it is, yeah. I, oh my god, I told Sweetman about this and I didn't tell you, and I don't know if he's told you, he might have, but um, in the Super Android 13 film, right? Yes. We have a voice clip yes. on our Discord. Yes, he told me it. Yeah. He told I'm going to tell the story for the sake of the, for the, <laughs> sake it, of the show. Do it. But it's my, I love this. So we were doing, um, we were playing Dokemon on the server, and um, uh, my friend, he loves just spamming voice clips sometimes when he's bored, and he spammed one, and it makes me laugh every time. And I was like, what's that from? And he's like, I have no idea. And our moderator, Summercat, she went online, and she looked it up, and she's like, I believe... It comes from the Dragon Ball... We didn't want to talk about Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. So this came out a complete left field. Uh, yeah, yeah. This... It comes from the Dragon Ball Z film, Super Android 13. <laughs> yeah. When Android 13 <laughs> is talking to Trunks. Yeah. And then she plays the clip and they're, like, having an argument over, like, <laughs> suppression and, like, li personal liberty. And <laughs> Android 13's like, don't lecture me with your $30 haircut. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Superman literally told me about this the other day. Because yeah. he, he and I were having a big debate in the car on the way to practice, like, that means dollars are canon. Yeah, yeah. It means American currency is real in Dragon Ball Z. Fuck, Zenny? What are you talking about? Zenny, what's that? Now it's yeah. dollars. Literally, mate. You throw a dollar haircut. Amazing. And was it Jane Goodall or something is also canon in Dragon Ball Z because of one line yes. from Bulma, which Sweeman mentioned as well. Yes. <laughs> so was, we watched that the other night. Literally, <laughs> she actually quotes it, doesn't she? Oh, okay. the next Jane Goodall, Goodall. or something. Yeah, yeah, literally, mate. Yeah. I can't... That, Amazing. Oh, Amazing. The English dub is fucking wild. <laughs> it takes it places, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it takes it places, mate. Your $30 haircut. <laughs> and that's such a cutting, like, I love that thing film. as well. I love that... Yeah, he's cutting. I love that film. <laughs> Surely for the abridged oh, aspect. Oh, beautiful. Was that... I'm it's shocked they do articulation. Protest. My particular method of articulation. <laughs> My trucker hat. <laughs> My trucker hat. <laughs> you ding dang gong done it now, boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> My favourite bit of the whole thing. <laughs> and no one can ever quote that as well My as the original dang, 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 boy. Because it's such a long oh, string as well. It's incredible. Like, never. I'd have geniuses. To They're geniuses, mate, for doing that. Have you heard, of, heard about Boo Bits? No. They're doing scenes from the Boo Saga now. Wow. Not like full episodes. No, but they... Oh, but they're picking moments that they want to so do. I'm so happy about that. And that's a very cool thing they're doing. I'm so happy about that. This is going to be the scruffiest recording I've ever done. I love ever. it. I'm having oh, such sure. a great time. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Yeah. Season trackers. Oh, movement range. That's and replenishment. Get, that's what you get when you get your brother on the uh, recordings, know. mate. This is what happens when you get blurred on the show. Ding, fucks it up. <laughs> <laughs> he comes in here with his $30 haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We have territory in fucking Cathay. No way. So it's like a Malice Dark Blade situation. So if you think in a couple of turns, you'll get the option to say, I don't want this area. I want this area. Maybe. Yeah, possibly. Or this is supposed to be our headquarters. Could well be. That's amazing. That's... Well, you need to get a lord in there quick time. Let me see. We're not at war with anyone okay, yet. Okay, all right. Interesting. Well, it, I'm, not, that, I'm not discounting that face, your idea. That face doesn't look too good, mate. <laughs> that upsets me. <laughs> and these are undead. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that upsets uh, me. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you need Lord. Oh, what's this? The Palace of Scrolls. Allegiance points, diplomatic relations. This is some good stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, there are, there's, there's a few more meatballs on this. Is there Fajita. anything more satisfying, by the way, than getting a unique building? No. No. I actively seek them out Me every time. Me too. Landmarks are the one. Do you know that's a really fun thing about playing Beastmen? Of all things? Go on. Because, obviously, they, they establish herdstones, which are, like, just buildings that provide you with, generally with, like, faction-wide bonuses and stuff. Amazing. So there's a lot of satisfaction there. But also, if you're playing Beastmen, say you're playing, uh, what's his name? The One-Eye Boy. Kazrak. Kazrak. Kazrak One-Eye. He starts around Reichland. If you take Reichland, you gain a faction-wide bonus against humans. Amazing. Because the capitals of every We've race yeah. give you faction-wide bonuses. Amazing. And okay, that is cool. big motivation to be I like, do, I'm going for it. I do love the details of every single individual 
race yeah. has their own perfect buildings in other people's areas. Do you es- know what I mean? Like, especially you just reminded me brilliantly of um, uh, the uh, where is it? Like way down somewhere, the Arachnos Ma- uh, Arachnos Peaks or something, which I think is actually up here. Oh god, I've, god, it's been so long I don't remember. <laughs> Point is somewhere far away from any and all green skin starting yeah, locations yeah. near uh, Iron Brows Expedition, yeah. Mount Arachnos if you take that as yeah. the green skins and build it up all of your spider riding units gain permanent bonuses Literally. or faction wide bonuses yeah. and you can recruit spiderlings. Amazing. You get an entirely new unit that is not available to the green skin roster. Amazing mate. Which Honestly. is big it's effort like that they put into the detail that I really appreciate. Fucking staggering. Yeah, amazing. And that's like the only example of that I can think of. Mm-hmm. And there's so many more. You and know there is, don't you? Like, like, the moment they introduce the alliance recruiting system, fucking... Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Amazing. There's nothing like having a bit of ver- like variety in your army, is there, of other races? Playing... I played Helm and Gorse with his army of basically invincible zombies with Cathayan artillery backing it up. Incredible. Yeah. Felt so good. Yeah. I was so happy. Yeah. I don't know what to go with for this place. Even cause... even down to small things, like I was um, Tyrion in a recent playthrough. Got an outpost in Avalon. I got dryads. Just little things like Just that. Just little things got, like that. I've got dryads in my army, man, because of so Avalon. I'm not supposed to have these. Yeah, but I've got them. <laughs> but I've yeah, got them. Absolutely. And it feels great. It really does. Are we... Oh, my God. Wait a minute. We don't even do... The Union. Yeah. It's steel and stone. As is. Oh, my God. There's so much to, matters of... St- oh. Whoa. Burn. Whoa. Is this our yin and yang? Steel is the active principle, the fire that fuels the heart of men and the hand that wields the blade. Steel tokens are used to perform the associated matters of state actions upon which they transfer into stone. Stone is the passive principle, the careful cultivation of the self, the pen that signs away a life. Stone tokens, I've moved away, are used to perform the associated matters of state actions upon which they transfer into steel. So effectively, this is yin and yang translated into metal. Yeah. Metal! And stone. <laughs> That's not a metal for anyone out there. That wants it to comes learn. from hell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I listened to that song recently. Metal. <laughs> oh my god, the target army instantly completes one turn of ongoing recruitment. Sorry, you know what I love more than anything about this? What? His fucking sword. It's his it's sword! In the middle. Oh. oh! Hang on, I need to go look at his sword again. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. need to see. I need to see. Oh, let me move you move you bastards. prick <laughs> <laughs> yeah. stag handler wearing fuckhead move you bastard move oh damn it I love him yeah amazing <laughs> but does that make you think that maybe his, sto- his sword is made of steel and stone I was hoping or thinking or wasn't sure but wanted to see if his sword literally had that element to that'd it that'd be so cool or I'm thinking if it's currently like oh, stone. that. <gasps> so if I use stone, it would go more green. Or Adam, you steal it. The green. stone is jade. It's jade stone. Because that is a rock. It is, mate. That's what's going on here. Steel and stone. I'm about to fucking flip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Josh and Drake and Josh yeah. when he's doing the weather. I'm like... <laughs> yeah. Well, when Drake hey, says... Oh, it's not available anywhere but South America. South America! South America! <laughs> that, you, you know, there's no point ever explaining a joke, but that always killed me because me he too. lives in America. <laughs> me too. He's so stupid. He should have known that. Yeah, maybe. He's like, he yeah. writes his own doctor's note and Josh reads it out and he's like, please excuse Drake. He cannot come into school today for he has twisted his liver <laughs> and he cannot read, right? Or bathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, fuck. We were in. We were going to work the other day, me, Buffy, and Sweetman, and we were listening to 90s kids intro and trying to guess it before it ran out. <laughs> and Drake and Josh was one of them, mate. Oh, yeah. that must have been instant. Oh, instant, mate. Yeah. But would you believe Dragon Ball Z did not feature? We did about seven videos, mate. Dragon Ball Z wasn't in one of them. Yeah. I know. You Crazy. can't see me. I, I, it occurs to me. Yeah. Adam's face right now is just staggered. It's baffled. Like, if someone snuck an entire lemon into my food, that would I'm be pulling that, fa- that face. Scrunch face. Yeah. We watched seven different videos of 90s intro music, and Dragon Ball Z wasn't in it. Yeah. Is Dragon Ball Z 90s? It, mu- 
And to, uh, I mean, I know it coming over it, here was 90s. Maybe it was 2000s. I don't know, but it was I'm really shocking it, for me. That's what I was going to say. I'm thinking it might be earlier than that. Ah, oh, my phone's still off. 80s, maybe. Really? Maybe in Japan it was 80s? Could be. But I would, every time it was like counting down for the new intro that we had to guess, I was waiting for Dragon, Dragon, Rock the Dragon. <laughs> and I'd be like instantly like, yeah. Edge no. of your fucking seat the yeah. whole time. We had fairly odd parents. We had Powerpuff Girls, mate. All of it. I do know all of Hong this. Kong Fui. Hong Kong Fui. Is that uh, even 90s? I swear that's I don't all. even know. But because my it? mate, when I used to work for um, uh, DWT, Roy, he turns to me one day and he goes, do you remember Hong Kong Fui? Hong Kong and I'm Fui. like, Jesus Christ, I realize, Roy, you're going I back a ways. I realised in my excitement I said Hong Kong Fui. I know it's Hong Kong Fui. <laughs> Amazing, mate. You will get <laughs> called out. Yeah, someone's going to call me out for that. Amazing, though. Um... Danny, Danny Phantom was on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Bravo. Cow and chicken. Cow and chicken. <laughs> All of it, mate. God damn. Yeah. But, yeah. So I've just instantly completed so his recruitment because he can do that. Crazy. So I'm just going to recruit oh, more. Yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> Ow. Oh, uh, there's so much here. And do also... He has to balance the army of stone steel, by the way. I'm going to go find out in a yeah, second. I, I don't actually know. Yeah. <laughs> Western idealists. Oh, what's that? Empire units with handgunners and diplomatic relations with the Empire? Yes, please. Yes, please. Humans. We're all humans. We're all humans out here. Humans. But basically, what you're telling me is this guy is shit. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Wait>. James. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> the, you're the delivery boy. I thought you should say Dorman. Then, and I was like, James nutty. The Dorman. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did you get called Dorman when you were a kid? Oh. Minimal? Oh, I got it loads. How many times to this day do people spell my name wrong? With Noe? Noe. Noe. Oh, tell and me. And I'm like, that. it's literally written on my channel, man. Come on. Yeah. If you spell our name with F O R M A N, instant dislike. <laughs> instant dislike. <laughs> I know why people do it. It's because of that 70s show, which has there's a the Foreman family in it. Right, okay. It's Noe. But it's F O R. F O R. All you need to do is look up the box of George Foreman. Yeah, and Max is spelling. But Real James, <laughs> we're in a new generation now. Oh, they don't know who George Foreman oh, is. That's terrible, isn't it? It took. He a, does a grill. He does. A, it took over a year <laughs> of me being somewhat known for someone to be like, "Hey, Foreman, George that Foreman," and I'm like, really? my college friends got that in about two days. Same. I used to get called. Uh, well, basically, I used to refer to having grills all the time. Yeah, yeah grills. That's the thing. Yeah, George Foreman grill. Yeah, I do love to grill. Yeah, I like grilled food. I actually had to uh, pick up a George Foreman grill in Tesco once and take a picture next to it. That's how much <laughs> my friends needed me to do that. Yeah, that was the whole thing. <laughs> like not literally, like not seriously. But <laughs> what fucking dicks? Yeah, <laughs> literally, mate. Yeah, you need to do that. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, this is like yeah, okay, right. Uh, I'll just perform for you guys for a while. I guess. Do you know what I like about this compass? Is that it moves when you move, right? Yeah. But that kind of reminds me of Jack Sparrow's compass off of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Can I make it? Oh no, whatever you want set. it to be. It's is where it goes. It'll point. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think this has. Oh, wait, no, because I used a steel action, so now it's all stone. So that was negative effects in some way. Do you have to have balance, is what I'm asking? The target settlement instantly completes any ongoing construction. What? Target settlement has its control and all corruption reduced to zero. What? What a perk. That's fucking strong. That is fucking strong. Okay, well, uh, what was I building? I was so doing about that to have a target to rebel, as in... You go, no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> well, I have jade in my sword. I have a nice green sword, <laughs> and you will do as I say. Yeah. I'm gonna. I feel like I should use it now just to balance it out, so we have access to the. Oh, but if you lean harder in a direction, you get the benefits. You more get stronger ones. Up. But then, what's these balance actions down here, mate? I'm guessing you can upgrade the amount you can have <clears throat> stored at any given time right, because okay. these are three three, and you can only right. have two two. Right. Yes, you must be able to. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, yeah. Okay. Unit count is both a yin and a yang unit for activating battle harmony. So there is a balance there. So, the, but oh, oh. choose between a set of powerful permanent bonuses to your faction. Oh, permanent bonuses. Well, we're aiming Sounds for that then, amazing. aren't we? Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. 
anything permanent bonus to your I faction. I love me a permanent bonus. Effectively, faction wide. Essentially, faction wide. We like to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> oh, it's the first turn. I already lost my shit in like nine different ways. Hundred percent. I need a wee, mate. That's cool. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna just hit the fuck out of this vape yeah, because I don't do have that. good times to do so. No, I know what you're saying, mate, and you don't want it to come off the mic on the microphone, really. <laughs> no, because it changes your voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounds bad. Yeah. As if it's still turn one. That's not possible. I know, right? That's not possible. It's been fifty minutes. <laughs> Have you ever had the thing, right, where you go for a week, yeah. for some reason, it splits into two? Yes. Right. Earlier on that happened to me, I didn't even realise it was happening, it went down the inside of my leg, mate. Oh! Oh, terrible. But yeah, that was very, I was, I was kind of sat there like, what's just happened? Anyway, yeah. And not that it's, I want to, this will continue to not be channel stuff, <laughs> yeah. but not that this is what happened. Did this just happen? Before, the wee before, mate. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. This wouldn't be relevant to today's, but this mm. is a thing. <laughs> After you've had sex, <laughs> goes fucking everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, mate. <laughs> you're like, uh, right, and you're, yeah. especially if you're over at their house, and you're like, times, careful. careful. What? What? <laughs> 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 you're like, no! Final flat! <laughs> <times about to>, <laughs> <laughs> You might as well I was about to clean up ass myself <laughs> in someone else's place. I'm like, damn fucking sex dick. <laughs> it's not peeing properly. Really tempted to edit this in. <laughs> damn <laughs> fucking sex dick. Fucking sex dick. Sex dick. <laughs> yeah. It's the thing though, bro. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll let future me make that decision. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> really funny though. <laughs> yeah, All right, well, the first... The amount of people will be able to, like... Understand. Oh, well, I know exactly oh, what that is. Guys, you know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> or much worse, everyone's like, "What, what are you talking the about? Fuck? Oh, it's just supposed to be a form of." Ew. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys got something wrong with your dicks. You no. go to a fucking doctor, man. Yeah. What the fuck? No, it happens to everyone. It must do, mate. It, it <laughs> has to. It has to. It has <laughs> for our own sake. <laughs> it started off being a joke, and now it's <laughs> desperate. <laughs> yeah. It has to. <laughs> it can't just be me. No, it can't be. Attention, greetings. Oh, this might be one of the best recordings ever. <laughs> Pure honesty. I'm well in. Why you care for uh, our first turn's not over yet. I have to do diplomacy. Do you know how funny it is, right? On my uh, Tyrion playthrough, it was like, right, I'm going to make trade agreements with everyone I can. Bang, 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 bang. I even paid someone to do a trade agreement. I was like, bang, 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 bang. And then the next turn, it was like, Make a trade agreement with someone. Oh, and I was like, you bastards. I did. What, <laughs> yeah, do you want me to cancel it and reform yeah, it? Yeah, literally. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, it was like, you get a thousand gold for making a trade agreement. I was like, you I just spent a thousand gold <laughs> to get that trade agreement. <laughs> oh, we're going to lose the flowing pyramid. We are, yeah. Flowing Wait, the flowing pyramid doesn't even have a garrison. Well, then you're definitely going to lose it, well, mate. Well, guess what I'm going to do. Fucking cancel that. Yeah, get why, my why money back. Yeah, super, why pay the money? Fuck them. Sorry, Flowing Pyramid. You can get it done and then I'll take you back. Yeah. Effectively. They'll probably just sack it anyway because it's not worth taking. Yeah. That location seems wide. Hang on, let me look at your sword. Let me, let me... It's a cool sword, man. It's got a split, but I don't know if it changes oh, colours, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to have to fill your army with fucking crap, mate, because we've got nothing else, but it's fine. We need as much nothing else as we can. I mean, peasant archers do the trick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, you know... Cathay peasant infantry aren't good. Like, I'm just, you know, I'm not blowing anyone's mind by saying that. They're not supposed to be good. Mm -hmm. But I think for shit tier peasant infantry. They're pretty damn good. They're probably the most useful shit tier infantry in the game, in my opinion. Maybe nice. other than like zombies. Yeah. Zombies fill that role really well. But peasant infantry, I've had them stand up to like chaos warriors and hold, <laughs> not win, obviously, Imagine. but hold them back. Good job, yeah. Yeah. Like, I was up against the Puppet of Mistral, fucking uh, villages lot. And he's dangerous. Yeah, he's he casting was. spells left and right, and that shit shatters morale. And the peasants held. And the nice. archers killed them. Nice peasants. Good peasants. <laughs> yeah. I like job. peasants. Except in Frostpunk. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking peasants. Oh. I'm like, all right, I'll set up a, I'll set, I'll cater to the people. And then the people are like, we want to murder. And I'm like... <laughs> Why? I didn't ask you to do that. Bruv, execution in Frostpunk? Right, oh. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Now, if you're lucky, they kick you out and you die in the cold. Nice. If you're unlucky, they tie you to a stand in front of the generator and burn you to death with steam. 
Wow, okay. With steam. Okay, so it's like burning the witches sort of thing. Have you ever gone to pour a cup of tea and like the steam comes yeah. out of the kettle and it scalds your hand? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Melts the skin off their faces. It's, f oh, I couldn't believe it. And I, I found out later on that that, because I found it as part of like a scenario, like this was a thing that happened to right. a person. Mm -hmm. I found out that's what can happen if you fuck up too bad. Right. That they kill you by doing that. Amazing. Because I fucked up and they just kicked me out of town. <laughs> but if you all like, if you just, if you really fuck Pissed up in off. a bad way, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're like, all right, we're going to fucking melt you, I guess. Awful. I must hurry. They didn't even... A they didn't take it. Why? Yeah, what was it? <laughs> you made me waste turns. Well, they can see the jade dragon on the way. They're like, fuck that. You're like, ah, uh, let's go defend our settlements, which is a very orky thing to do. Mm -hmm. Question mark, question mark. Sorcery through me. More units. More units. I guess we'll build this now because yeah, it's fine. Yeah, because it's lost, yeah. Rush construction. How about... I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me a minute. There we go. Amazing. Lovely. So that's taking you back to exactly where you were. It's got uh, me ahead of where I was. It's absolutely right. I am a... And now it's you got now a have a garrison. I am a genius. Intriguingly so. You could have done that last round without cancelling the thing. Yeah, but if they'd attacked, it would have been a double waste. Yeah, very good point. Mm. Or that the garrison would have defended. Against two armies? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> you two. made the right choice, Adam. <laughs> this is why you know... This is why Form plays stuff. This is why Form plays, and sometimes he even plays stuff well. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, uh, very rarely, I play it well. <laughs> you know, I have my moments. Yeah, that was the right call, mate. That was one moment that will go completely unappreciated <laughs> by the wider world. Ah, but Harmony does still exist in the settlements. So, for instance, Shang Wu is in Harmony because there's fuck all in it. <laughs> uh, but if we look over here, this is still in Harmony because this is going to be the. Actually, there is no... You know what? I'm not going to pretend I understand Harmony. I'm just going to fucking move on. <laughs> yeah. Future me, edit all of that out. <laughs> yeah. We'll just see how we go. You're James still the delivery James boy delivery caravan. Boy. Yes. <laughs> I feel so important. Hey, man, you're bringing us the money. Hey, it's me, delivery boy. <laughs> all, right. all right. I'm a delivery boy. <laughs> I'm telling you. I told you before the episode, but I'm going to do it for the purposes of the camera as well, which isn't here. You need to play Greenskins. I fucking do, mate. You need to play... I'd say Azak would suit you quite yeah, well. Yeah, I, I do need to do a good Greenskins campaign for sure. The Grom is fucking Fuck. hilarious. He is so funny. Love Grom. Everyone loves Grom. Of now, how many of them are here? So seven there, oh, seven there, easy. six there. Nah, you'll take him. That's a full stack with two leaders. I have a not Select full stack. Yeah, but you're better. Full of peasants. Oh, I reckon you'd do it. No. Ah. Ah. This is what I do when I play the game. But yeah, I'll take him. <laughs> and then it's like running to feet. I'm like, oh, oh. Well, maybe not then. So, I yeah. guess I have to fight it. <laughs> yeah, damn it. <laughs> okay, right. Well, I'm going to have to, aren't I? I, was like, I think what? so, mate. Pride is on the line. Mock my pride. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. If I attack him, then they'll have to wait for reinforcements yes. and we might be able to kill them one after the other. We get a nice close picture on all of them. It's pretty tempting, though, <laughs> well, isn't I it? I know, because of all that effort, you know you win. You it depends. What's the battle? Because if it was like a choke point battle, which it's not, but if it was, I could guarantee a better result. Um, thing is, we have to... Um, in moments like this, you have to consider the wider campaign. Of course. You come out better off if you come out better off. If I come out better off. As you That's pointed out, that is the big if. Mm -hmm. And if I do, it allows me to continue my advance quicker. Better, stronger form. And if I, But if I auto-resolve, they will all die and the settlement is mine. Whereas if I manually resolve it, there's a good chance some of them will get away and we'll have to fight again. Very good point. Tactically speaking, it's auto-resolve, isn't it? I think so. Uh, he's taking down with dragon fang. He slaps them with the sword. <clears throat> Everyone loves it. Oh, scroll shielding is pretty good. Empress Crowmen. Nice already. Lovely. Governor. Level it's five now. Went from level two to level <laughs> five. <laughs> Boom. Apparently the game considered that to be a rather big fight. The introduction of that inspiring presence affecting the experience gained. Oh, it's, yes, it is. Amazing. It's a very good one. Amazing. 
I well, I remember back in Warhammer 2, I advocated like always go down this path and get yeah, gliding strike first. That's not the case anymore. No, it's not. No. I've discovered had- I discovered this quite painfully. The earlier on you can get that character. I mean, the best thing about um, vampires, or the worst thing, is they ha- they don't have that. But then they have Children of the Night, don't they? Yeah. Which equally is the same thing. So yeah, it's the best thing to hit early, isn't it? And it's like it also depends on the Lord you're using as well. Gelt. Gelt, you go down the spell line first. Right. Before anything else. Mm-hmm. Because until you go down there, Gelt is a pretty figurehead. Right. He does nothing. Right. But once you get his spells, suddenly entire vampire count armies fucking die. Yes, yeah. They <clears throat> just die. Absolutely. Now, I don't think I need to make... <sighs> it's difficult to level a dragon because if you level them into melee, they can just charge through, but spells are useful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Having said that, if we go down this line, we'll get Jury and Executioner, and I do kind of want that. Me too. I've made my decision. That increased speed. Nyam, 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 nyam. This is just standard sort of upgrade, isn't it, really? Yeah. My I think it's somewhat unique to him because he's got Judge, <laughs> Jury, and Executioner, but for the most part, it's... The bits in between. So far, seem relatively standard. I need to remind myself not to just fucking nod in response because no one can see. <laughs> <laughs> I nodded in response. Uh, to confirm, I nodded. To confirm the words that James said, and I was like, yup. <laughs> Instead of just Ooh. ignoring him like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we do it's doing the thing. Wow. Yeah, it is. I, I knew it would. I knew it would. The winds of magic gather, blowing through Lustria with an intensity that once harnessed will expand the reach and power of the Jade Compass exponentially. Yet the expedition to the continent has left your defenses in Cathay spread far too thin. A vampiric menace looms over Shangwu like a shadow. The undead scourge could crow a strike at any moment, and without proper protection, as the region may fall to their greed and mouse, perhaps it would be wise to hand over rulership of the city to a trustworthy custodian, rather than attempting to fight the enemies on two fronts. Nah. That doesn't sound very cash money, though, does it? <laughs> no. Which is ironic, because the other option was extremely cash money. money. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Literally. Fuck right. that. Always keep it. Go. Put a hole in both places. You need a lord there. I mean, I'm friends with those. Okay. So that's... that's oh, yeah, because that's... Uh, yeah, well, that's Xiaomi. That's your custodian. There's the custodian. <laughs> yeah. But he, he's got the west, west flank secure. He's strong. It's these guys. Yeah. Maybe. And they all own your province, to be fair. Oh my god! New lords! Amazing. Celestial general! Well, let me guess. It'll be James the delivery boy and Adam the ultimate attacker. <laughs> I'm gonna be fair on this. <laughs> we'll get Ren Murong. Right, here's what I'm gonna do. Right, here's what I'm gonna do. Because I'm not a dick. James, you've been promoted. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have to put yourself in it, mate. I'm a delivery boy! I'm a delivery boy! You're probably the most effective in the army, to be fair. I mean, I'm more of, of a course. tactician boy anyway. I don't see myself being much of a melee fighter if I was to transfer <laughs> myself to the world. Whereas you've got the you've got the physique, you've got the stature, <laughs> you could do it. Uh, where where is our boy? After years and years of training. I mean, you know, you worked at it. <laughs> where the fuck? Is, oh, it's all the way over here. I would be quite honoured to maintain this area. Trust in the dragons. I am Let's sure see this guy. Oh fuck oh, yeah! Shit fuck! He's got a fucking hammer. Yeah, he's got a war hammer. And he's wearing he's wearing the green. It's just like um, a shoe faction in Dynasty Warriors, which was my favourite one. Literally. He looks ever so slightly chubby, but so am I these days. So you know, nah, he's it built. All works. He's built, man. He's <laughs> stocky. He's got leader of men. Good. Oh, I'm gonna play around with this in my 360 missile block. What? So he blocks missiles from any direction. Amazing. Despite, with just, his warhammer. Oh, oh, I bet. bet. Amazing. And he gives his entire army uh, plus 10 armor. And he gains plus 30 armor. And, and, oh, you pick one of these. Oh. Or you can give him splash attack damage, so well, he's hitting a lot of people. Well, you can imagine slamming that warhammer down. The hammer is made for it. Yep. Or Comet, which gives him a lot of speed and allows him to uh, flank. Amazing. That's actually potentially really powerful. Titanic Impact. Attacks cause rattled effect. Rattle them, boys! <laughs> Rattle them. And he has a, uh, a built-in vortex attack. Awesome. And lead from the front, endurance aura gives melee defense and missile resistance to allies within range. Cool. This, and he gets a jade longbow. 
<laughs> nice. They're cool. They're cool. <laughs> this guy's fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I immediately close this. <laughs> Change the delivery boy back to James. <laughs> yeah, Adam. <laughs> yeah. And this is me. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let me, let me just do that for a moment and then quickly take a look. Okay, I got a name for you. <laughs> oh no! Don't worry, I've got an idea. James Warden. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Literally. Yeah. Because it doesn't, it doesn't show it like a first name or last Amazing. name anywhere, so it works. Perfect. Oh wait, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Yes. The comma. That is what you needed. Warden of Shangwu. There you go. That's me. Oh, it's got a dash between it. Is that going to piss you off? A dash? In the sea. James Warden of Shangwu. Oh, yes, you're yeah. right. You're yeah. right, right. we got to make it proper. <laughs> you got to make it proper, mate. Got to do it. Let it never be said or how fast anything. <laughs> yeah, no, it's perfect, mate. There we go. I love it, Adam. Fantastic. Uh, now let's get some troops. Lose Shang Wu. <clears throat> die. You <laughs> <laughs> physically die. <laughs> just fucking fizzle away. I look over you just... <laughs> what? Yeah. X is on my eyes, like... Alright, oh, uh, well. <laughs> what's Sweepman doing? <laughs> yeah, we'll get him in. <laughs> now, our, our, um, our predicted income is going to fucking tank, but... It's fine. I've committed to protecting both places, and I'm going to fucking do it. And we're going to get the faction-wide trade tariff income bonus, nice. and we're going to get it fucking everywhere. Get the money. And get, like, 100% extra trade tariffs, and it's going to be brilliant. And nice. I'm doing the caravan. Out of the delivery boy, caravan. I'm the deliver Hang on. <laughs> I just had a thought. Yeah, take caravan out? No. No? Even better. <laughs> <laughs> Man! Oh, no, it's right. <laughs> Adam the Delivery Man. Now it's a title befitting me. <laughs> there we go. I cannot fail the what, a, what an you empire. You should be Officer of Haulage. Oh, the Haulage Officer. <laughs> yeah. I think. Oh, I actually need to check when, when, like, in my off time. If, um, I assume they will. But I assume the other two legendary lords get the Celestial Generals as well. Mm-hmm. That's the only issue. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up using them all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah. Because the Dragonblooded Shugengen are all right, but they're pretty standard casters. Mm -hmm. So you may as well get, like, an Astromancer or an Alchemist instead and just mm -hmm. have a Celestial General <laughs> as your leader. Yeah. I wish you could get them on the, um... Trade caravans, but I do think it's actually good that the trade caravans can only have tacticians. Yeah, me too. Because otherwise you wouldn't ever fucking use them. Of course you wouldn't. Yeah, there'll be no purpose. So, and now we just need a reason to use Shugan. Actually, we do have a reason to use Shugan again. Because he buffs them. With of extra course. recruits. So, now there's actually a reason to use every single type of Lord. Amazing. I mean, still probably going to want to lean towards Celestial Generals, but... If you're like, fuck, I need a there's lord. There's a purpose there, yeah. If I need a lord for this town right now, they're about to attack. Get the Shugun gun, because it's got five extra recruit ranks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It'll be more effective. Definitely. Bruh. Shit's whack. One hour, 18 minutes, 11 seconds. Turn five. God. We have done <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. You are the glory of the dragons. He's so fucking cool. He's so cool. <laughs> He's so cool. No, don't get me wrong. I still love Mao Ying. She's my girl. Yeah, She's amazing. But this guy, this guy's fucking rad. Yeah, but hardened bamboo. More, More bamboo. That'll help. The pandas <laughs> will like us. It. it reminds me of that Top Gear bit when they're going through like I think it's the Amazon forest or something. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I mean, that's actually what makes it funny. Where Jeremy's car is up front and like some some twigs and sticks and stuff get stuck in his engine. Yeah. He's driving through so much of it. He's like, Bamboo has gotten into my car and <laughs> fucked up my engine. The plucky Brit has wounded itself for you. And James is like, well, it's not very good then if it's been broken by, what was that? Bamboo? <laughs> <laughs> and he just stands there and stares Amazing. at him. Amazing. My, uh, my favorite things, one of my favorite things Top Gear ever, <clears throat> when they go, through the forest well is when he ties his log to the back as his hand yeah, yeah. And just shatters his rear window I simply fucking love it step off yeah I simply <laughs> step off <laughs> oh my god 
<laughs> what manner of terrible thing has happened? <laughs> yeah. Mission issued. Gain a moderate income. At the end of your term, have moderate. an income of at least 3,000. That's awkward. Yeah. Because I just raised another army. <laughs> yeah. 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 That would take a while and we'd suffer casualties. Yeah. This is fine. Mm -hmm. This is fine. Hawksbane. Love it. And there's always more green skins. But soon we'll be able to do this. Nice. It's issued at rank 8. I hope it's not a battle, because I... Quest battles are a cool idea. They really are. They're effort. But I fucking hate them. <laughs> yeah, they're effort. Man. I hate playing them. Nakai has one of the worst. Really? Oh. You have to save Itza. Right. Which means the quest battle is save this other army. Oh, and no. fuck do they not defend themselves. No, I, bet. I bet they're useless, yeah. They're fucking useless. Mm-hmm. And it's vampire... Like, high-tier vampire coast army. Right. And Skaven. Do you out. Ultimate ranged firepower versus big slow lizard man who don't do nothing. Don't well, don't do nothing. <laughs> I actually really like Nakai. That's to say, him and his croxigors are brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, but that mission was not fun. Not even a little bit. Let's do some damage, mate. You're gonna do some damage with four units? No, yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I thought maybe I could hang out a bit first and just fucking. I wanna do damage! I wanna do damage! <laughs> Let's go! So I'm guessing, yeah, these recharge after a while? I guess so. Oh, winning battles! Decreases battles! Cool. Right, yeah. Makes sense. It's almost as if it's a total war game. Yeah. As if. <laughs> they kind of expect us to, like, fight things or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to go for a pacifist run. Oh, character experience oh, yeah. per turn. Give. Give me. Give me now. Give, give me, give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> yes! Yeah. He's in. Sweetman ding. Ding! Sweetman ding! <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Hang on, I've got it. As a reference to our days, <laughs> mostly Anna's. Fearless leader. Our fearless leader. Yes. Go on, buddy. I need you to run cargo. <laughs> Be our fearless leader again. Please. I don't even remember where the fuck I sent myself last time. Just go, Myrmidons. It's nice this time of year. Iron? Yes, please. You know what we do need soon? Mm. Cup of tea. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. 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 <laughs> In all things. You have come over rather British. <laughs> yeah. Is the kettle on? Is the kettle on? <laughs> Jeeves. What's Jeeves. The kettle on. Excuse Sodbury. <laughs> Put kettle on, please. And if you could bring some canapes. <laughs> yeah. To soothe my belly. And to soothe my palate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a line from Meta and Eddie. <laughs> Double D brings a roll, a plate of snacks, and he's like, some canapes to soothe your um belly. Yeah, so I remember it. And he's like, what is this? <laughs> Teetsy Weetsy Baby. <laughs> <laughs> you insult Rolf. Come and hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This will make you die inside, right? So, not the initial fact, but what comes later. So, for Fortnite. They introduced Dragon Ball Z characters. Nothing, yeah. Yeah, they have like Goku in there and stuff. <laughs> like, I'm not big on Fortnite, but cool, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. And they gave, like, the Dragon Ball Z, well, at least Goku, the ability to do a Kamehameha. Mm -hmm. Now, this exposed Dragon Ball Z and the Kamehameha to a bunch of people who have never fucking heard of Dragon Ball Z <laughs> no, before in their lives <laughs> and don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. And seeing people talk about it and they go, and. Goku has his, his Kamehameha ability, oh, and I was like, oh, I, <laughs> I think I felt my lung fall off. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Internally disintegrate. Caused actual physical internal damage. Pain. Yeah, yeah damage. I want a noble. Kamehameha. Oh. Kamehameha, and I'm like, oh. You know nothing. <laughs> yeah. That's Boy. painful, mate. Kamehameha. It, it, it sounds like, like a parent would say, but this person was younger than us. Yeah, painful, mate. Well, that's our generation that we don't realise we're getting old, mate. It's true. <laughs> Such joy. I know I'm going to go See into the voice chat on Discord at some point. Everyone's going to be like, Kame hey, hey, now, because they know I fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah, they will use it. You fucking kids. <laughs> Damn, kids. Why do you want to hurt me? <laughs> <laughs> Unexciting. 
If we rush the Shrine of Sotek, we can knock the fucking Vipers out entirely. Nice. And then there are very clearly Skaven down there. Clearly. Look at all of these ruins. I don't see nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. I hate that aspect of Skaven. <clears throat> Especially when you don't see it coming. If that makes sense. Like every now and again, you don't see it coming, do you? You're like, you bastards. The terrifying thing, right? <clears throat> I can tell you, is operating in this region. Bastards. Because a lot of enemies, it's a lot of factions, lines, isn't it? Mm, yeah, a lot of factions around here burn shit. Yeah, so and there's a the fuck ton of ruins. Move in, and cl and clan moors are right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not only do they just move in, but also you don't know no. what they actually own. You don't know if they have moved in or not. Yeah, the absolutely. Badlands is literally a fucking minefield. And then you go right. I just really need this one place because it secures a province for me. It's and you don't realise you've come up against war against thirty. Like settlements of Skaven. You're like, yeah. Oh, bollocks. Or you're like, uh, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure this place is empty and my army's kind of like fucking yeah. lagging a bit, flagging a bit, like they're injured. So I'll go take this place. And then you click on it to go attack it and it's like, <clears throat> fortified settlement garrisoned by Queek Head Taker with a full stack. Yeah. And you're like, well, well I also can't get away fast enough yeah. now. So that army's just gone. Dead. Yeah, literally. Just because I was in, like, wondering what was there, basically. Which I'd Inquisitive. like. Inquisitive. I'm not. Uh, I'm not opposed <laughs> to the mechanic itself because I think it's very scaven. Catches like, you out though, doesn't it? But man, is it frustrating! <laughs> yeah. And the ambush on attack shit. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You see why scaven are effective? Scaven are fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. They're awful. Did you accept that non-aggression agreement, by the way? Of With the scaven. Oh, yeah. It's Margot. Yeah. Yes. But wait. There's more. But wait. That's it. <laughs> One gold to balance the offer. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Amazing. The funny thing is, when you haggle with her, she's usually like, fine, in like her return dialogue. So I'm say so. really surprised you didn't do it there. Like, if you do it to um, uh, the other guy, I can't remember his fucking name now. Yeah. Uh, Xiao Ming, that's it. You do it to him, he goes, you haggle like a foreigner. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I do, yeah. It's funny, because half the time when I'm playing to him, I am I'm a, a foreigner. foreigner. Yeah. Disciplinarian, that's me. Yeah, uh, keeping shit under lock. Yep. Oh, wow, vampire corruption here is real. No, not good. No. Fuck you, vampires. <laughs> no. God damn, that's cool. That's exactly what I oh, wanted from a fucking Cathay Lord. Mm -hmm. Actually, there is a slight change I would want or make, or I would have this version and then something else. Mm -hmm. I want one with a Guandao. Yes. With those pole arms with yes. the big curved edge, yeah, like uh, Guan Yu had in mm -hmm. Dinosaur Warriors. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. What was obviously, I... obviously, I'd like a dual blade. Fight. Naturally, you would like your dual blade. That kind of turns into a lightsaber esque kind of style thing. Did you know that that's a reoccurring weapon in Dark Souls? Is it dual blade? Yep. No, nice. twin blades they're called it now. Twin blades, yeah, that makes sense. One where they can stick together and be like a. A staff of swords with swords, yeah. That's Unfortunately, it. they're not detachable in uh, in Dark Souls. But it's funny if you decide to use them because, like, mm -hmm. your normal attacks are just normal swings. Mm -hmm. And then if you press R2, they start doing a full fucking Darth Maul twirl. spin and twirl with nice. it and shit. And yeah. it's the least practical thing in the world and doesn't work in combat very well. <laughs> but it looks cool. But you got to fish for it because yeah. it is what it is. It's yeah. got to be done. Darth Maul, by the way, is a concept. He's amazing. He's brilliant. Amazing. Incredible. Yeah. Governor. An executioner. Governor and executioner. I of the Emperor. Giving big charge bonuses. Boom. For big fun. Fit for a prince. So, this army's now we full. Require a it is. Of but. And skill. Is it balanced? We require a balance Warriors of, of skill. Empire. Actually, first of all, here's what we do, right? Yep. Fuse them. Fuse them. I cannot and then. Bum bum. Simple as that, mate. And that's how you modernize your army. Yeah. It's just very fucking important and I always forget to do. Mm -hmm. And it leads to a lot of misery a lot of the time. Yeah. And we're back. T has been acquired. Yeah. Strategic resource. Uh, Get it going. Nice, bro. Good, good, good. All right. Action performed. And guess what? General of <laughs> Rally the peasants. Next turn. Boom. But sir, we don't want to die. Well, you should have thought about that before you were a peasant. <laughs> yeah. You're a peasant, you die. She was considered becoming like, I don't know, a fucking rich boy or something. Or a dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you should have been a dragon. Have you considered being a dragon? 
Okay, well, we've got a good one. Imagine that, right? <laughs> you're in a society where a certain bloodline has the dragon power and you're just a peasant. <laughs> well, I've always... Come on, man! I've always considered that along lines of, like, fable, right? Yeah. Where it's, like, the hero... Literally, like, the hero... Hero blood. Hero blood. And it's like, well, you're just a normal person, so... And that hero has decided they're going to be a tyrant, so yeah. fuck you, I guess. Yeah. Have fun. That's more annoying than being in a world where it doesn't exist at all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would 100%. be much, so much worse to be amongst. Imagine like, if we experienced people in this world having Dragon Ball Z powers and we didn't. Fucking outrageous. Outrageous, <laughs> mate. Yeah. <clears throat> Fine addition to my armory. What else can we get here? What? Oh, oh, oh! Guns. We like guns. Obviously, guns. Yeah. More guns. Oh, we're gonna fuck them up. We're gonna fuck them up. You won't see any of those guns. Because literally on the other side of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't see any of the benefits. Let us talk frankly. Away from war. Yes, away from war. Humans. Ah, oh, Marcus Wolfart. He's pretty good, actually. Uh, but I don't really like playing as him. Uh huh. Because, I mean. He's quite limited down here, isn't he? He is. And if I'm playing Empire, I'm playing Gelt. Yeah, yeah. Like. It's, it's there's no as that. yeah there's yeah. no other way to it. Like yeah. I could play old man who's really good with a bow, actually a really <laughs> exceptional hunter and tracker, and he's a cool guy, or I can play Gelt yeah and be supreme. The mage of metal. Up ahead, strewn across the road, is a crude barrier. Bandits stand upon the blockade in defiance, demanding cargo from your caravan as the tolls continue. Refuse, and they will attack. Um, I think you're gonna attack him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a yeah. Uh, oh, look at that! Decisive victory. Yeah. Uh, thank you. That's one really decision, then. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, anyway, onward. What is it that um? <laughs> it's a meme that's been made out of Top Gear. It's Clarkson just being like, "Oh no!" Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's a difficult situation because I want to modernize his melee infantry, but I also want him to start. Building up Doing uh, stuff. Winds of Power Reserve on his way down to here. Sure. Then again, there's only two, three units of peasants, so he should be able to do it fairly quickly. Bureaucrat, sorcerer, general, billionaire. Is it Flam is it still balanced though? I don't think. Yuan Bo, can you stop for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> stop talking, man. I don't think armies themselves necessarily have to worry about it okay. too much, but typically the way it works is your melee infantry are, um, are yang and your ranged units are yin. Right. So you sort of keep them together that way. Sure. It's when you come to these things that it gets completely fucky. It complicates it, yeah. Um, <clears throat> the main things that really need to hold the line are going to be the melee infantry anyway so if they have the archers just behind them they'll gain harmony bonuses what? so these guys will all fight way above their weight fortunately jade warriors have the same harmonization harmony uh, as peasant spearmen nice so we never have to worry about that changing cool have you ever you i mean i guess you've never really played Cathay much no celestial celestial dragon guard no oh buddy buddy they are real I and they are great out of every raw recruit. So, do we have any more matters of state we can use? No, but they've been very useful such as the such far. Words. In That's far. English? <laughs> yes. No. We don't like English. Soon we'll take the Baleful Hills and then I'm just going to have you fucking burn your way through these lands. We will have the Celestial Riverlands. That will be our territory. Guaranteed. And then we just need to keep an eye on what everyone else is doing. If, um, for instance, these guys die and... Oh, yeah, what's that over there? Dead Flag Fleet Vampire Coast. That could be a thing. We know... That's the target, surely. We know Loki is going to come in from the northeast. He's probably going to do quite well. Always. Uh, Snitch is already at the Village of the Moon and working his way down. Bitch. So we're going to need to burn our way through these as quickly as possible. Set up a proper power base, get you some units mm -hmm. <laughs> that are actually soldiers and not peasants. And perhaps not progress too far too quick. Mm. Create a, a solid base, do you know what I mean? I agree. This could it could get pretty dicey around yeah. here. But that's very much the point. Yeah. That's why you're supposed to abandon it. Mm -hmm. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. Oh, but I was practicing um base the other night. Nice. Right. When did the practice with those guys? They said, yeah, Luke said. And like that was a whole thing. Mm -hmm. Um 
and I was what like the concern now is just staying in rhythm throughout the throughout the song. Yeah. Like when Sweetman starts singing, because I always latch on to his you vocals. Not be, you've got to be detached from it, haven't you? I've got to detach myself from it. Yeah. And I found out a method for the first three songs, and right. I've kind of nailed them. Cool. Where typically like for the very first song, literally the strong pattern is just duh, 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 because it's a very stable song, mm-hmm. you know? And then the second one is a little faster. Um, but I found out like, it's kind of better to do, like, specific strumming pants for different songs, makes it sound better or whatever, but I realise if I do specific strumming pants for those songs, I focus on doing that instead. Mm-hmm. So, like, for Symphony of Dead Man's Land, I'm like, oh, what, what was the one I feed out? Your focus on the song is only a certain bit, basically. I focus on doing specific things, yeah. which means I'm not, my mind isn't really wandering. Song. Yeah. It's like da 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 Just a different strumming pattern means... Yes, focus on that. Yeah, I can stick to that. And then when he starts singing, I'm just still just like... Yeah, you've got to basically... Any other any other direction of musical note in the song, you've got to ignore, haven't you? That's why it was so easy to learn Henrietta. Right. Because it has a very specific strumming pattern. Like, I, I mean, I'm not at the bass right now and I haven't listened to it, so mm-hmm. I can't really replicate it all, but that has a very specific strumming pattern. I'm going to need to figure something out for the other songs, but I don't think it's going to be that difficult. Mm-hmm. Like, Very yeah, good. Nice, man. It's giving me hope because I have less than a month before the gig. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. i got to clutch at straws. I was saying the other day, he's got to make sure he puts more time into it now. Mm. Right, big time. It was funny when we were at practice because I knew all the songs and they didn't. <laughs> Amazing. Because they're in three bands. To their credit, you know, it's not a lack of effort on their yeah, yeah. part. But, like, I was like, yeah, I fucking... You focus on exactly what you need to focus on, yeah. And like, obviously my parts are a lot simpler, too. Mm-hmm. But I was like, yeah, I cracked down and fucking... And I know all the <laughs> lyrics as well. So he doesn't even know all the lyrics <laughs> yeah, and he amazing. wrote them. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, like, you know, obviously, like, it's not that impressive because my parts are very simple. But it was it was good to have yeah. had that moment to be like okay yeah I have I know my bit. my bit that I know I know and my bit is the God. bit we're all worried about yeah, yeah, yeah. so to yeah, make progress in actually nailing that was it felt good yeah good for you man nice awesome. <clears throat> I'm gonna start moving you towards this oh, I think so so you can just land that fucking attack yeah Move upon yeah, I water. love that hammer so much me too man <laughs> I love oh. and I love and maybe it comes from my love of paladins, right? Which is why I love two-handed hammers. But I like the stances nice involved. Stance. I yes. love standing and holding it like that. Mm-hmm. Special mention to ones where they put it on their shoulder. 100%. Mm-hmm. I was telling uh, Shelby the other day about our Must laptop thing when you first got a laptop. Oh, yeah. With thorns and brambles. I was telling her all about it and she loved it. I was like, yeah, that was the best thing ever. <laughs> like, I'm literally the best thing ever. And Bramble still carries on today, thanks to Baldur's Gate. I know, incredible. Fucking love that boy. Yeah. She seems to enjoy the Brambles and Thorns thing. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. <laughs> uh, that's at the time, it was just like, yeah, perfect. It's a very it's a very silly, like, naming yeah. convention, but it, it's fun. There's synergy there, though, isn't there? It implies that these two characters exist to work together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's exactly what we did. Yeah. Amazing. Because when you... Uh, were you a warlock? Night elf. What was I? Night elf. Was I a warlock or was I not? I mean, it's been, you know, it's been a long time. Long time, mate. Can't remember what I was, to be totally honest. Maybe. But you were Maybe. a paladin, weren't you? I was a paladin. Yeah, yeah. I remember getting my... Like, back then the quests were very different. And, like, <laughs> you weren't necessarily locked into a specific type of... Cl- subclass for your class whereas now nowadays the game rewards you re- in regards to what you've chosen right so tanks get tank stuff right I was a tank but I did a quest and unlocked Veridan's and got Veridan's fist as a reward right. which is a two handed hammer mm-hmm. and I fucking rocked it nice because it was a beautiful two handed hammer for a paladin and I was like yeah. I'd love to go back to World of Warcraft I'd love to just to experience it I think I think you'd enjoy it, but I, I need to, I need to get myself a gaming laptop, mate. Basically, I think you'd also be slightly oh, yeah. disappointed because it, it is different now. Yeah. But yeah. it's still fun. Yeah. The problem is that Activision Blizzard are an absolute shit heap of a company. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That that changes things. They are an absolute shit heap of a company. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I won't go into that now because that's a whole fucking story. <laughs> sure. sure it is. But yeah, no, nah, they're not good. Um, and that among many other things like being too busy having other games to play and stuff 
It's taking you away from it. And it's taking me away from it a little bit. Yeah. I still love Warcraft. Yeah. The world, the characters, I love World of Warcraft. Um, I love all of it. I just really hope that Blizzard loses it someday and it goes to someone else. Someone else. I can make more of it. Yeah, and who aren't shit. And money grabbing. <laughs> money grabbing, shit to their employees. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not getting into it now, but oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. boy, is it a whole thing. Unfortunately, those delightful humans, we are also humans, but they're different humans, taking the place I wanted to take. Of course they did. And it has I gemstones. I fucking hate that mm. when you're like your allies to a certain extent take something you want. You're like, fuck you. It is not politically convenient to declare war well, on them, especially since we have a non-aggression pact. Yeah. What Although if you do it early, your reputation recover quicker. That is my mentality on things. It's true. But like, as well as that, our, um, our tech tree, as it were, our character development kind of specs towards being friends with humans as well. Right, okay, fair enough. Which, and there's always a trade opportunity further down the line. And having the a fact you can trade settlements now, by the way. Yeah. Perfect. Love that. Love that. But like, it has to be tactically viable to them, which obviously makes sense, but... It mainly comes down to value of the pro province yeah. itself. Um, which is how I managed to, as um, the Barrow Legion, um, vassalize Carcassonne and the Fey Enchantress by giving them... I think... I, yeah, I just gave them somewhere really good. Yeah. Actually, I gave them somewhere kind of mid. Right. And they were just like, yeah, totally! And we I'm need like, that. <laughs> All right, you're my servants yeah. now. Perfect. Cool. Glad you're into it. So, they're all right with me. Do I have any alliances with these guys? We are on satisfactory terms. Satisfactory so terms. Satisfactory terms. Yes, I have. <laughs> Onceman General. Onceman General. <laughs> Those good old days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Through me. Hmm. It's difficult, because I don't want Wombo doing nothing. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. death. Yeah, it is death. You need to be progressing constantly. Gotta be getting stronger, taking territory, stuff yeah. like that. But I don't yeah. want to fight Spec Spectrum. I don't want to fight the Huntsman's expedition. I don't really want to fight them either. And oh boy, that's your only option. Hexaotl. <laughs> that's your only option, mate. Unless you go south. What's south? What's their opinion? Well, to the south, unfortunately, is Huntsman. They kind of. Um, they do it. They've tabled me here. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. This looks intriguing. Mmm, tasty defenseless Dark Elves! <laughs> Fuck you, Dark Elves! Don't mind if I do. Absolutely. I know how much of a threat they can be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get them now. I played that fucking Marathi file, it was yeah. crazy. I'll let Hexy all deal with Marathi, fuck that. Alright, well, I'll tell you what, we'll continue having him build up Winds of Magic, because that is important. But we'll start sending him over there. Uh, I guess most of our focus right now is going to be on this. You have an army of 2,600 people. Yay! You have a big army. <laughs> big and useless. Capital B, lowercase i, capital G. Ooh, big. Perhaps I can resolve it for a cost we can both agree on. Yeah, I think we can agree on something. <laughs> yeah. Your death! Your death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got him! Servant Don't let him dragons. get away! Declare war! Come on, James. They're literally rebels. The former delivery boy. Delivery boy promoted <laughs> to Warden of Shangwa. <laughs> yeah. He must know someone. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as if his brother is in high places. Must be something like that, yeah. Legends say he's related to the delivery man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to fight this because we want to keep casualties low. Definitely. Uh, because this is not going to be the it's only. It's nice to see have. a good fight as well, mate. We love a good fight. We love a good fight. Ah, oh, Bellacor, I miss you, Bellacor. So good. I remember playing online on the Discord, and a friend of mine picked um, Shadow Legion, and I commanded uh, an AI he was fighting right. in a siege, and I was playing defensively, and he tore through it as Bellacor. I'm, I'm sure he did. Dude's yeah. fucking unbelievable. And Vermintide too, which is that game I showed you where I was like, it's Warhammer, but like plays like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you remember. know, where you're fighting hordes. Bellacor is like the big shadowy <laughs> presence behind takes him. on all the hordes. Now he's the bad. He's, he's the, the big bad right. behind the hordes. Of course he is. Right. So like, you know, you bet you people would be playing well, Warhammer fans mostly, would have been playing Vermintide all this time. And then Total Warhammer series came out, and then Bellacor was he's there and everyone's the like, guy. Oh, it's fucking yeah. Bellacor. 
And thing is, he's not the guy. Right. The Chaos Gods told him to fuck off. Well, that even that makes him even more the guy. It's because they chose Archeon instead. Was that the choice? Was it him or Archeon? Yeah, and it used to be Bellacor. Wow. And then they were like, Bellacor, you fucked up too many times. Fuck off. We're going with Archeon now. That just shows how dead she is, though. And now Bellacor. thing. Yeah, even without the <laughs> proper support of the Chaos Gods, like, they'll just kind of give him stuff if he's making sacrifices or whatever, because they love it. Yeah. And they don't care. That's the way they operate, yeah. But he's not their chosen anymore, and yet he's still one of the most dangerous people on the map. Amazing. Well, it's like how Scarbrand was rejected by Korn. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And then he was like, but instead of being Bellacor, who was spiteful and was like, fuck them, I'm going to do it. Bit. Scarbrand was like, I need to please Korn. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of my entire existence, is making Korn like me. And then he fucking lent into it. Grand General. Just want to have, have a quick look. Just want to Awesome. Yes. Here I am. Look, you're ready. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> He's a bit smaller than you, but it'll do. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, guard starts is fine, I guess. That's a really good battle start sound, can I just say? Fellow soldiers of Cathay, I do not intend to have words take the place of my weapons. Yes. Yes. I shall inspire you. With my martial yes. Yes. So yes, James. Begin. Yes, James. You do good speeches, <laughs> bruv. <laughs> so we outnumber them heavily, which means I'm going to send two units of peasants to kill those fucking wolves because fuck them. Yeah, yeah. Then. We just need to hold the line. That's it. And then the archers can take care of business. Celestial faithful. Turn skirmish mode off because it is a shit feature. Mm -hmm. you, you do what I tell you. You do what I tell you when I tell you. <laughs> I want you to stand so you'll fucking stand. <laughs> Where is their leader? God, I love the Cathay combat music. It's hard to hear, obviously, but they're not doing well over there. It's fine. Peasants are replaceable. Always. I'm gonna do something real quick. <laughs> <laughs> because I need it. Uh, Music. Master up. Speech 95. Effects. 80. Interface. 80. Music. I just want music to be more. <laughs> yes. I don't think it'll make that much of a difference, but... Can you get them from there? Yes. That's really good. Lovely, mate. I love the Celestial General. He's so fucking cool. Yeah, it's not a contest. It never was, <laughs> but the idea was to limit <laughs> casualties, of course. Yeah. See, like, even just these little guys. They're doing their bit. I love them. They look great. I love Peasant Spearmen. I love Peasant Bowmen. I love all of Cathay's units. I love Crane Gunners, Iron Hell Gunners. Jade Warriors, all of it. Oh, the Hail of Arrows. Mm. That's what we want to see, mate. That's what we want to see. It's what I always want to see. And they're fucking melting. Easy. Bitch. Bitch them. Bitch them. Always. Can you imagine just like, as we're talking? I swear, multiple times I've been recording, I've been sat here talking, and then behind my head, I hear... <laughs> and I, I'm like, mm. I'm... Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Hurts my soul. I can't wait to actually get you some half-decent fucking units. Me too, mate. That'd be awesome. That was, um, that was concisive. Oh, yeah. And we lost virtually nothing. You Amazing. took virtually no damage. The units gain experience. You gain experience, more importantly. That's important, yeah. Fortunately, these guys are a really minor faction. They don't tend to make big armies. I reckon we'll just swamp weep them. Yeah, nice. Burn straight through, and then we've got Lokir, Snitch. There'll be more of a challenge, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Possibly Nakai. I just love Lokir, mate. Lokir is so cool. Yeah, mate. 
I wish I liked playing him. Me too. It's never as it's never as good, is it? It's like if you were to go to me and say, who do you think is cooler, Marathi or Loki? I'd say Loki. Yeah. Which do you prefer to play, Marathi? Marathi. Yeah. Every 100%. time. Hundred percent. It upsets me because I want to like playing Loki. Uh huh. <laughs> Something about it just doesn't gel with me.